Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you from my art room. Um, this video I decided to do on um, organizing my art room. My husband recently for my birthday put up shelves all the way around my art room so that I can get better organized with all of my supplies and products that I have and plus I do uh, several different um, mediums of art and so I've um, organized it into sections for different types of art that I do. Um, I did a video a while back on uh, organizing on the cheap and some ideas to um, help organize your craft room inexpensively and uh, since I've made so many changes since then and I've got all these new shelves up now I thought I would do another one because there's um, some new stuff and some additional ideas um, that I was able to find um, inexpensive organization items uh, that I was able to incorporate in my room to help me get more organized. So I'm going to uh, show you a video and point out some things in my art room that I've done recently and um, hopefully it will give you some ideas on organizing your art room or your craft room. So I thank you for stopping by and watching and hope you enjoy the video. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is my journals. So you see here that I have all of my journals um, stored uh, upright in boxes. I just have over here uh, my bigger, taller journals in just a regular box and over here my smaller journals. It's a, it's a shoe box. And um, so, I mean, I could paint the, the regular box, which I probably will at some point cover it in wallpaper or some kind of printed paper or what have you. But, you know, I thought this was, you know, the, the best inexpensive way to store my journals. I used to have them piled on top of this shelf. Um, let me see if I can pull back. I'm trying to pull back my... Um, my cart as well that's kind of in front of it but you know this is just a shelf that actually a friend had given me um, so one of my tips is you know use what you have there's no sense in going in and buying um, stuff you know to organize a scrap room so this particular shelf here is just a, a shelf that I was using um, and I just repurposed it for my scrap room. This other shelf a friend gave to me. She had a yard sale. Uh, it didn't sell. So I said, hey, I'll take it off your hands. And I tried to give her some money for it, but she refused. So, um, you know, I guess that's what you do for friends. <laughs> so anyway, I have extra supplies and things that um, I keep on this shelf. Um, I also have baskets. You know, these are just baskets that I got you know gift baskets with things in them you know repurpose them for my scrap room um, this one I have um, stickers and things in and this one I have like twine and you know, mostly twine and ribbon and stuff in that basket uh, this I did purchase um, I don't think I paid a lot for it I needed something to you know put um, like my gelatos and and um, and uh, colored pencils and watercolor pencils and stamp pads and you know bossing powders and I got a few stamps in there um, so I picked that up for a few bucks uh, I think from Walmart and then um, this down here these other shelves I actually have uh, boxes that um, I used for uh, storing things in and as you can see like let's see if I can point to it uh, that box there is a candy box and that's like a plastic tray from the dollar store and then that's just another white kind of box that um, had my husband had gotten something in the mail in it and then that's a, a, I believe a candy box but all of these boxes are shoe boxes and those are smaller boxes that I got when I was getting a uh, uh, craze crave or however you say that so um, 
I just didn't like the look of the different colored boxes. So I went and I literally like all of them boxes right here I painted and all of those which are also shoe boxes I painted and then I put labels on the front so basically these boxes the smaller box on top I have like words tags words and phrases in one then tags then small pictures of animals uh, small pictures of other things uh, small pictures of people and then the bigger boxes is uh, that's got quotes and things in it. And then that's bigger pictures of people, bigger pictures of animals and scenes, and um, and other th other things. Uh, I also have a couple of other boxes. If I can point to, it, trying to get my finger in the viewfinder. Oh, there we go. Those two boxes down there that I have uh, other things in, and I just put labels. I I print it out and labels. Um, just out of regular paper and stuck them on there. Let's see, that says brochures and envelopes. And then I have this other thing, the blue thing. Let's see, get my finger in there. That thing right there, it's actually what Swiffer, um, uh, the Swiffer pads come in. So those make great containers. And then I've got just some paper bags in, in that. So that's some of my uh, ideas that you know I did for inexpensive storage and I do have that in my other video um, but I wanted to show it again here and then of course my cart which I'll back up this cart I got from Harbor Freight and it's a big cart I don't know if I can back up far enough but that holds lots of supplies I paid $45 from it from Harbor Freight and it's a roller car I can roll it around and it works great and I have um, all of my supplies in there I have this tin you know can that I got from the flea market for a couple bucks that I, I store stuff in um, I also have let's see if I can get down here oh here I have from KFC I've got beads and things in it. I guess the mashed potatoes and coleslaw and stuff. I mean, heck, might as well reuse what you have. And then this here had like face wipes in it, and I've got buttons and things in it. And another one here that's empty. I, I don't think I have anything in that yet. I have uh, in the back here, if you can see that, it's a cookie tin right here. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. It's a cookie tin that I, I store stuff in. So, I mean, anything that you you have, um, you know, a basket. This, there's another basket in the back here that's um, a gift basket that, let's see if I can, oh, it's not. Let me pull it out from here. See, it's a, just a gift basket that had some stu stuff in it, some bathroom th items in it that I've got on there. Um, and then on the bottom, some other other things supplies on my desk and this desk um, it actually uh, in my other video it you'll um, see that it was it was like I had a big hutch on the back of it and um, I had lots of stuff on there but I decided to get rid of that and for my birthday my husband put up these shelves all the way around I'll try not to make it too dizzy and there actually goes three shelves up and then it continues around the room three shelves all the way around the room like that and lots and lots of storage for supplies and and I'll go through some of the some of the things uh, on those shelves that um, I did for um, inexpensive storage but I wanted to go back over here to my desk and on my desk I have this uh, wire basket here that I got from Goodwill Goodwill is a great place to go to find you know stuff and I and I guess it was uh, it looked like it was like a drawer for something but it works great on my desk for all my sprays and my paints and things like that I have this uh, Lazy Susan right here that I actually got from a uh, garage sale and that works great you know for my you know paint brushes and pencils and pens and things 
I have a few items over here that um, this uh, the, these little boxes came from yard sales. These plastic bins came from the dollar store. You know, um, these um, <laughs> are obviously um, you know from Smirnoff, and it's great to put your bottles of uh, glue and gesso and things in. That's what I use to store that that stuff in, and another. Um, dollar store plastic bin and uh, this here is a rack that I got from Hobby Lobby to you know store stuff in um, and I and I got a uh, or, um, so Hobby Lobby no actually I think I got that from uh, Michaels and I got it at the 50% off with the 50% off coupons so definitely use coupons if, if you uh, get those coupons and you have a Michaels close by um, so I got it for half off uh, a little plastic storage container from the dollar store for some smaller items and then some more cookie tins in the back there let me move the stapler it's a cookie tin and move this and um, that actually was something nuts came in those work great for storage some dollar store baskets um, yard sale find dollar store basket yard sale find <laughs> move the stuff just some bins that I found yard so those two items were from a yard sale 50 cents I think I paid for them great baskets for storing some things in this here is a zipper bag that sheets came in and so I've been using it for putting in all of my um, paper towels and I pull them out from time to time and reuse them and also I've used them to you know uh, on journal pages to you know do stuff on journal pages another dollar store item um, and then these baskets I got from Lowe's um, they were three for 12 which I didn't think was a bad uh, um, price considering you get three wick wicker baskets so it's like three bucks a piece and they are nice good sturdy baskets and I'll pull one out and I mean they they hold a lot this is what I put my store my um, stamps and things in and it's you know right overhead so it's easy to grab one and pull it down you know from the shelf and then this is uh, something that uh, I t stole from my husband um, you know if you can uh, repurpose things from your husband or your kids that's a that's a win-win too <laughs> but it, it you know was a thing that you know for files and stuff so that works anything you can find around the house um, a basket back there that had uh, it was a gift basket and then that came from a yard sale I found that basket at a yard sale some more boxes file boxes and things that I've repurposed um, a couple more yard sale baskets that I I got um, my work was throwing these uh, uh, that cardboard I don't know what it was away but I grabbed it and brought it home and actually I'm going to go down underneath my desk because underneath the desk there's some storage but there's also another one of those cardboard things that I put under there to store more stuff on it it's got like little shelves um, on it so that one I have it standing upright and using the shelves for you know some of my supplies but that one up there I laid it on its side and using it you know to stand up books in you know some books that I had and then of course dollar store just a a wash bucket or whatever from the dollar store these uh, canvas bags I've got them there and I've got them um, on the shelf I'm trying to get around my chair getting it out of the way I've got those um, on the shelves um, all the way around the room and actually those were from the dollar store as well um, they were three four six bucks can't beat that and they're pretty good size baskets um, 
I'll pull one down here. You know, I mean, it's a pretty good size basket. Um, for three of them, that's that's pretty good, pretty good price. So, and you, if anybody's priced them canvas, you know, baskets are they're not cheap. But go to the dollar store. Hopefully, yours will have them. We'll carry them. And then I have these clear bins that my husband bought me when he got the shelves. And um, I could see what's in them. Some of them don't have anything yet, and some of them do. And these come from Lowe's. I think they were like a buck a piece. Um, maybe a little more than a dollar and then another bucket from the uh, dollar store and then down here I had this shelf that I got from the flea market I thought oh that would be a perfect shelf to put smaller items on like you know my glitter my um, uh, perfect pearls uh, my sequins things of that type and then I had my husband drill like a hole on each end and put a dowel rod through it so I could hang my ribbons and washi tape on. So that worked out perfect. And um, then there's a little metal container there that was uh, had some kind of candy or something in it. And then inside here, it's just uh, a little, I don't know, container that I got from something that I put some some stuff in and then over here I have this shelf which actually used to be for CDs that I repurposed this is half of it so I took half of it and put it in here and then got these um, you know little bins from the dollar store I think you get like four for a dollar little plastic bins <clears throat> so that's pretty much that oh and with my um, desk I was saying I had the big hutch. Well, I was able to take the hutch down, and then I, my husband took one of the shelves, turned it backwards, and you know, ha and underneath it, uh, put a board and then screws um, going up underneath. So that way, the desk d extends all the way into the corner, and I've got all that, you know, space now to store stuff. Whereas before, the hutch kind of cut cut it off quite quite short and I didn't have a whole lot of room to, to work. Now I've got lots and lots of room. And then I have this table. It's just a six foot table. Um, my work was getting rid of some tables and I got it for ten bucks. But my husband picked up some similar tables from Walmart for forty dollars and they fold in half and, and you can carry them around with you. So I'm going to go over here to this other shelf. I have up top more of those canvas bags. And then I have all of my scrapbooking um, you know, stuff that I have for scrapbooking. The other area we just came from is my mixed media and sewing area. And then I have a few more of those baskets from Lowe's that were like three for 12 bucks. Um, and those boxes over there are birch boxes, which I right now they're empty. My mom gave them to me. Um, she's, so I thought they would be great to use. And then I have behind here some other baskets from the dollar store, or this here was a gift basket, you know, that had some bath stuff in it that I repurposed and uh, let's see what else do we have coming around up top shoe boxes actually I've been putting my um, junk mail in the shoe boxes so that's what those are for I didn't paint those or anything um, I just kind of stuck them up there and then I've got more of those containers from Lowe's that my husband bought and then more canvas bags from the dollar store and then on the bottom shelf um, I've got um, another box there that I painted for ribbons and then some other that like had fruit in it and a shoe box and some other kind of box I, I didn't paint those boxes and a couple more baskets from Lowe's and that goes across and then I have my paint area. I had my 
we had a couple of scraps of the shelves from when he was putting up the shelves I'm like could you put those underneath so I could put my paints on it you know and my brushes and things for my for painting which is by my easel and I got an easel and a chair there the corner over here by where um, I have all my painting stuff I have a, another repurposed shelf for more storage I've got a lot of uh, magazines um, on the shelf I got ribbon in a um, metal container um, extra paper folders books that I uh, use for my mixed media and for creating journals and a few other items just on top and then up here my husband hung these on the wall so that I could store my paintings in this um, shelving unit and actually what this was was repurposed from an old waterbed and I eventually want to paint them white you know instead of uh, to blend in more with the wall but he hung these for me and um, I've got lots of room to put paintings I don't have a lot up there right now because the ones that I have done um, I've given away to family and friends and I have a few up there actually I got to um, send off to family and friends um, which are paintings I did for them but there are lots of canvases to uh, do some paint projects with so eventually I'll get around to that and my husband also put a screw in the side of it to hang my apron that I use when I'm painting and then I have another I got actually two of the six foot tables from work so here's the other one on the other side of the room and then I picked these uh, wire things up from Lowe's because I wanted to be able to put stuff underneath and stuff on top and they they weren't that expensive a few bucks another box that I think fruit or something come in and then this um, little assembly of containers on top came from a yard sale and then the only other thing is, that I wanted to show you is over here I have this was a long time ago I bought these uh, this three drawer standing kind of um, thing that uh, just to put my some of my supplies in in my living room when I had my scrap room in my living room oh and I have uh, there was another piece of shelf I had my husband put over there to put put something on and then I ended up getting a second one and I believe I got this one here I don't remember where I got the other one but this one I think I got from uh, from uh, Walmart and then I had my husband get a six foot board to put across the top so that I would have a tabletop to work on I had the the shelf and then the board across the top <laughs> and I've expanded from that into the room that I have today with you know all of my scrap supplies so this is the area where I do my scrapbooking as I mentioned a, a minute ago and this is the area where I do um, putting you know creating and putting together my art journals I like to make art journals and sell them online so this is my area for that and then all of this stuff and my papers and stuff are up on the shelf so that's pretty much my scrap room and what I did to organize all of my scrap supplies and expensively so I hope you uh, guys got something out of this and we'll talk to you again soon thanks for watching bye bye